people deluded i'm back again arsenal's under 18s defeated northampton's towns under 18s 2-0 in the first their, their first round that they'll face in regards to the fa youth cup obviously our challenge is to try and go one better last year which if for those who don't know we obviously apologies for for that people low battery but like i was saying obviously last year we got to the final played chelsea no shame it we were on the receiving end of a i'm so sure the second leg was a heavy defeat to chelsea which everyone was at the bridge um yeah there's no shame in losing to a chelsea side they were physically better than us and all of these sort of things and stuff like that we came up short so we know we want to go one better this year um so yeah, obviously Saka, John Jules, and a couple others. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not too sure on John Jules' eligibility. I'm so sure he's still eligible for this. But a lot, of, in short, a lot of a couple of players were obviously training with the first team on the eve of the, our last Europa League fixture, so they couldn't call upon the likes of Saka and stuff. But there was still a strong lineup. I mean, Balogun was there, Trey Coyle, one of the most, if not the most, underrated prospect in the club in Vonte Daly Campbell at fullback, and an underrated midfielder called Matt Smith as well. Obviously, you had the highly rated Sam Greenwood, and you obviously had, um, what's my man, the winger man, Josh Cotterell, I believe his name is Cotterell. Um, so, yeah, um, not Josh Cotterell, Ben Cotterell. So, um, yeah, there was, a, there was a good amount of players to call upon. We could still call upon them, and to be honest, no disrespect to Northampton, this is a game we should be winning. In regards to the first half, um, all in all, I, do, I wouldn't say Arsenal played within themselves, but we weren't at our maximum. It looks like the boys, the boys knew we would win this game and we didn't have to be at it. Was a, it was a low-key affair for both sides, typically, to be honest. But the first 10 minutes, it, it first 10 minutes, while I think Northampton grew into the game after the seventh minute in, in, in particular, to be specific, we were all over them. We were getting the ball moving. We were playing some slick football. Everyone was getting a touch. I felt down the right-hand side was our joy. Trey Coyle, there was one incident, I, I think it was in the 20th minute or something like that. He flip-flapped someone. He was hitting skills. I feel Vonte was putting decent little balls over the top and offering an outlet. I did think if a goal was going to come, it was going to come from our right-hand side. That's not to say we didn't have good moves down our left and we actually technically scored down our left. We'll get on to that. I did feel in the 10th minute we should have had a penalty when our man was brought down. It was to no avail. But generally in the set first half, I, I felt Northampton, obviously, they grew into the game, but I didn't feel they tested us. They had the occasional corner and the occasional bit of possession, but they there was really no out ball for them. There was really no outlet. They were really just doing doggy work and, and, and just chasing shadows, essentially. Obviously, because we're a better side, better players, bigger side, we're going to be dominant in possession. And you saw Matt Smith and Oli Inka play some good balls. I even think our, our back four were playing some good passes and getting things moving. Like I said... Um, Matt Smith and Vontae, they they kind of clocked little clipped balls over the top. Not not with power, you know them little clipped balls over the top people that just sink. They were doing a lot of them, and it was work. It was work. It was working for us. Like I said, we were beating them down the right hand side, our right there, left quite a lot, and I thought that was where our goal our goal would actually come. One criticism I would say is we're getting into threatening areas, but we're not really testing this keeper. We're not really making him nervous at all. He's not really having much to do. I mean, 14th minute, uh, Balogun had a good effort saved as well. We're we're not re we're putting them under sorry people we're putting them under sustained pressure and things like that. Uh, one thing I will say as well within the first fifteen minutes I saw a lot of us getting in behind. We was putting balls into the box and there was one in the fifteenth or sixteenth minute. The ball went across. It was begging to be tapped in. Someone would have tapped it into an open net. Obviously no one was about um, then as well. Um, and it just became it looked a case of we will score. We're dominating too much. We're enjoying it a bit too much. We're getting close, but yet we're so far by the same by the same token of it. Um, we should we should really get we should really really should get ahead. There should there were some threatening moments. Twenty second minute there was a good counter with for um I was about to go on Nottingham Forest with Northampton. It came to Norville. I think they won a corner from it. Um, like I said in the twenty ninth minute you saw Coyle's flip flap and stuff. In the thirty first minute or something like that it was actually a good move which broke down. Shortly after that you obviously saw Balogun score. It was against the run of play. Northampton man's caught in possession. He plays a lazy pass. Cottrell's alert, alert to it. He springs onto it plays Balogun in and I would I wouldn't say it's I don't think it was technically our first effort on target but it's I would say it's the first effort I've really registered in my mind on target for my lads and it's a good finish. One nil the job's the job's done essentially. Um that's all our play lacked. We lacked a goal. We probably the only criticism I could find is we lacked a goal. We really didn't make the we didn't have enough shots by the same token and we didn't have enough shots at the keeper and make them work. But I wouldn't say Southampton Southampton Northampton Town looked nervous but they're chasing shadows. It's like they expected to... I wouldn't say they expected to lose, but they knew that it would take a bit more than heart, effort and application to win this sort of game. And 
I, I don't want to say we played within ourselves because at the end of the day, two nil and through to the next round. But it looked like we we, we knew we was going to win this regardless. It, I'd say we looked to that we we're playing at sixty percent. It was a bit of an exhibition match, typical low key affair and things like that. Like I said, Coyle was impressing me. Little little tricks here and there. Um, yeah, man, we was doing what we need. We, we were doing what we needed to do. We didn't need to be at a hundred percent. Um, Vontae's dealing with anything that's coming his way and things like that. But it goes into half time, and you're thinking, my thoughts exactly were they broke occasionally and they had a couple of corners, but there's not really any threat. They're only threatening us um, sporadically. Sporadically, sorry. Only criticism is that um, we didn't really test the keeper with half an hour in. But literally, when I wrote that down, we then went and scored. So, yeah. Obviously, the second half was essentially more of more of the same. To be honest, fifty seventh minute, you saw Nottingham. Stop calling them Nottingham. Northampton play a lovely ball over the top, um, and and things like that. But it's it's more of the same. We're dominating. We're having possession. We're having the joy of it. And it's a, the best way to describe it is a low key affair. There's not really much going on. Neither keeper is being tested. In the second half, there was a little bit of more space for both sides to open up. Obviously, as you get tired and you become indisciplined, then Northampton have to chase the game to a degree but there's not really anything going on in the 58th minute or something like that i can't remember if it was offside or, or what but there was a lovely ball again a lovely clipped ball over the top weight of pass by Vontae daly campbell and um, for balligan he finds balligan and balligan headed it over and it would you would have thought that was a good chance for one nil two nil sorry um not sure if it was offside or what but yeah it was to no avail so we're having half chances like that and things like that I believe in the 75th minute or so, we then scored our second. Um, Swan Son, who was playing that left back, obviously a corner comes in, it gets cut out, we're trying to keep it alive. Um, he, he takes a touch, he puts it in with his right foot and then he takes a bit of a swell and the keeper's got his bearings wrong and it's a freak goal essentially. It's, it looks like a good finish, but it's essentially poor keeping and it's 2-0. And to be honest, like I said, we haven't had to be at our best and that was a scoreline, that's a respectable score and that's probably what we deserve. We did deserve to win the game essentially. Um, so yeah man, we did alright All I can do is say is that I felt we played the ball play Again, no disrespect to Northampton But um, the golf and quality is always going to win this But I'd say what I enjoyed from us I liked the way the boys were playing out from the back Everyone was confident Good range of passing You saw Vonte For me, man of the match would actually be Matt Smith for me I think he's an underrated midfielder You've seen my, mid my videos about him um, It's always difficult to make a career at a top team But I do think he's one of them That's not going to have an issue having a career man. I mean, he's always doing the right thing Always, his body position is always good to receive a pass. His first touch nine times out of ten is always immaculate. He's not afraid to play a pass. He's energetic. He's really grown grown into himself this season as well, man. Maybe that's because he needed to adjust to life as a first-year scholar physically and mentally training and every day and things. I don't know, but... Yeah, I like the way our mid... Oli Inka as well, he was spraying passes. I like the way our midfield was moving the ball. Cottrell was a live wire as well. I liked the movement. I liked how, obviously, people were trying fancy tricks and exhibition stuff. Obviously, you saw a couple. You saw Monsa and you saw... Um, you saw a young defender. I forgot his name. You saw a young defender come on the pitch as well. Um, you obviously saw people make their debuts. We moved the ball well. Our centre mids were brave. Um, we could have probably had more shots and stuff like that, but I, I was in—I wouldn't say I was impressed, but I was impressed with what I saw. Man, out of ten, I'd give us a seven. Maybe seven's a bit generous, and six would be cool. But I'd give us a seven. We probably could have had more shots, and we probably could have scored more. Is the only reason I'd probably mark it down. But generally, we did—we did enough, and we get to look into the next round, depending on who we face now. Uh, yeah, like I, I hope the likes of Saka. I know I, I like to see people advancing and things like that, but I hope Saka's um, back for the next game because I really want to win this tournament for the young lads. And all I can do is say it's a fantastic game from them, man. They all stood up to be counted. They were missing key players and they did what they needed to do. I told you Balogun's born to score goals. He scored goals. It was a decent finish on Swanson's part for the second when he swung it in in the 75th or so minute, but it's poor keeping. Keeper really should have kept that. So, yeah, man, you can see from start to finish. I want to say Northampton had a defeative attitude, but you could tell they didn't expect to really walk away with anything in this game. But we did what we needed to do, man. Credit to the players that stepped up in the absence of, of Saka and maybe a couple others that could have been called upon. But we did what we needed to do in this FA Youth Cup. And this is what it's about. It's not about playing well. Um, it's actually just about winning. And it's that's actually why I want us to go to the final. Because you saw last year, it's about winning. Obviously, you need to develop and winning is not everything. Look at them Chelsea lads. A lot of them are winning. But have they actually learned as players necessarily? And that's not a criticism. It's about learning. But at, at the end of the day, you need to... Inst one thing I rate about Chelsea is winning is installed. 
winning by winning in training winning just competitiveness in games and stuff like that obviously in the grand scheme of things as a professional footballer the under 18s fa youth cup is nothing but it creates a culture it creates that desire obviously that transpires if you want to be a winner and get to these things it's what you do off the pitch it's about how you conduct yourself it's about how how focused you are in training and things like this and if people are doing the right things and the mentality is there then you've already done the job because the minimum requirement for achieving anything is maximum effort essentially as as sean that says on that web on that advert on tv but yeah like what can i do it's, it's a good result man it's tournament football essentially it's just about getting a result to walk away with a clean sheet scoring two goals and not really be tested playing some decent football with playing out from the back and all the midfielders and the rest of them I can't really be at fault. If I, had to, I can't fault them. If I had to pick man of the match, for me, it's Matt Smith in midfield. I felt, like I said, he was good in the engine room. He was picking passes. He looked like someone that was going to make something happen. Cottrell did all right for his assist, and I felt he had an energetic performance. Vonte wasn't tested too tough, but he stood up to be counted. Trey Coyle, I really want him to make it into the first team. Man, last year, he was robbed of football with injuries and stuff like that. But it's nice to see him playing for the under 23s and it's un it's nice to see him playing for the under 18s in the FA Youth Cup, being one of the star players because he didn't really get to feature too tough towards the end of the period. And hopefully his form and the way he's been playing means he gets reselected for England call ups, man, because I was quite upset in the summer under seventeens. Obviously Amici was there, Saka was there, Okonkwe was there, Vonte Daly Campbell was there, and so was Trey Coyle, but I'd correct me if I'm wrong, he didn't play a minute. Big fan of his, and if you saw the flip, like he was moving. He was Drake Coyle was behaving rude in that game. Some of the stuff that I saw him do, he was. I'm not gonna say it was Ronaldinho at the North Camp, but he. Listen, it's nice to see someone so positive with them sort of skills, man. And don't get it twisted, he was humble. He, def he he worked defensively as well, and I really got a lot of time for him, man. Like whether he's gonna make it as a ten or a winger is is remains to be seen, but he's definitely got a lot of potential, and I do think he's gonna have a top career, whether it's at Arsenal. Fortunately, I hope it happens or somewhere else. It all depends. But yeah, he's a good player, man. And I'm waffling now, so it's a fantastic result for our boys. But on that note, people, deluded, I'm out. Comment, subscribe, and do the rest. Thank you.